Ever wondered how much you actually know about large language models? These intricate systems are the driving force behind many of the technological marvels we interact with daily. From virtual assistants to predictive text, large language models are transforming the tech landscape. In essence, a large language model is a type of artificial intelligence that understands and generates human language. It's like your smartphone's autocorrect feature, but on a way larger scale and with far-reaching capabilities. In today's discussion, we're going to focus on two major players in this field, Gemini Ultra and GPT-4. These models have made quite a splash, each showing unique strengths and weaknesses. Gemini Ultra, a new entrant from Google, has been creating buzz with its speed and limitless message capacity. On the other hand, GPT-4, an established model, is renowned for its accuracy. So, are you ready for a deep dive into the world of large language models? Stay tuned as we dive into a detailed comparison of Gemini Ultra and GPT-4. Gemini Ultra and GPT-4, two giants in the field, but what sets them apart? Let's dive right in. Gemini Ultra, the new kid on the block, hails from the tech titan, Google. It's a large language model that's been making waves for its speed and lack of a message cap. On the other hand, we have GPT-4, a product of OpenAI, a seasoned player in the world of large language models. It's known for its robustness and impressive capacity for understanding context. Both models are designed to comprehend and generate human-like text, making them powerful tools in the realm of artificial intelligence. They can answer questions, write essays, summarize lengthy documents, translate languages, and even generate Python code. But despite their similarities, there's no denying that each model has its strengths and weaknesses. And understanding these differences could be the key to getting the most out of these tools. With introductions out of the way, let's get down to the nitty gritty. First up, speed and message cap, a crucial factor for many users. When it comes to the speed of response, Gemini Ultra takes the lead. This new Google model whizzes past GPT-4, delivering results at a pace that's truly impressive. However, as we all know, speed isn't the sole factor to consider in the realm of large language models. Let's talk about message cap. The one thing that sets Gemini Ultra apart from GPT-4 is the absence of a message cap. Yes, you heard it right. Gemini Ultra allows for an uninterrupted flow of conversation, no matter how extensive. This can be a significant advantage for those involved in lengthy discussions or complex problem solving. So on the fronts of speed and message cap, Gemini Ultra does seem to have a bit of an edge. But it's important to remember, speed and unlimited messages mean little if the quality of the output is compromised. But speed isn't everything. Let's look at how they perform in tests. Scene script, performance matters. So how did Gemini Ultra and GPT-4 fare in our tests? Let's dive right in. First off, Gemini Ultra, despite its speed and lack of message cap, made more mistakes than GPT-4. This was evident in a variety of tests, but let's focus on two specific instances. Firstly, we posed a question about probability. Now, probability isn't exactly a walk in the park for most humans, let alone artificial intelligence. But here's where Gemini Ultra faltered. It was unable to correctly answer the question, an area where GPT-4 took the lead with a precise answer. Secondly, we conducted a coding test. We know, coding is a complex language in its own right, and we'd expect some hiccups. But again, Gemini Ultra fell short. It made a significant mistake, while GPT-4 held its ground, demonstrating a solid understanding of the coding language. These tests revealed some clear limitations of Gemini Ultra, especially when compared to GPT-4. It's important to remember, though, that both these models are incredibly powerful. They're the result of years of research and development, and they're continually improving. Gemini Ultra may have stumbled in these tests, but it's still a formidable model. It's faster, and it has no message cap. Those are significant advantages. But what about image understanding? Let's explore that next. Image understanding, a key aspect of modern AI. How do these models cope? Picture this, Gemini Ultra, for all its speed and limitless messaging, trips up when it comes to interpreting images. It's a bit like a lightning-fast runner who stumbles over hurdles. On the other hand, GPT-4, though not as swift, leaps over these image understanding barriers with more grace. It's not to say Gemini Ultra is blind to images, but it's certainly not as sharp-eyed as GPT-4. The comparison is complete, let's wrap it up. 
After a thorough comparison, it's time for the verdict. Gemini Ultra, Google's new large language model, does have its merits, boasting a faster response time and no message cap, which is a leap forward in terms of speed and capacity. However, it's not all roses. We've seen that it tends to make more mistakes than its predecessor, GPT-4, during our tests. This is especially evident when it comes to understanding images, where GPT-4 clearly has an edge. Bard's verdict is clear. For the time being, he doesn't recommend making the switch from GPT-4 to Gemini Ultra. Despite its potential, Gemini Ultra's current performance doesn't justify a transition. But remember, it's a powerful model in its own right, and it may improve over time. This is the world of AI, after all, where rapid advancements are the norm. While Gemini Ultra shows potential, for now, sticking with GPT-4 seems the wiser choice. Until next time, keep exploring the world of AI.